Hi, and welcome to Wrenching Up. You know, we spent a lot of time talking about cars and light trucks. Never really looked at those big heavy-duty trucks, you know, the big diesel trucks rolling down the road that carry commerce up and down all the time. Well, we're going to talk about that just a little bit, and that's coming right up. Well, I'm here with Jim Thornton, and he's the Director of Transportation Resources. That's a pretty cool title, huh? But I bet he knows just exactly what we want to know. And Jim, I think basically uh, what our viewers and myself would like to know a little bit more about the challenges that uh, heavy-duty trucks face. You sure. know, we know what the service requirements are and, you know, the things that we need to do to keep hires going up and sure. down the road. But like I said, we never really talked about trucks. So how do you see the heavy-duty industry today? What are its challenges? Well, really, the, the most important thing to any fleet that's out there or any truck operator is uptime. You know, they always say a downtime is money. So it's extremely important that the, the components that they're using uh, are for the right application and keeping that truck moving and generating commerce, right? Generating revenue for the owners of that. And what our customers are constantly telling us is that it's really important to offer that full value proposition uh, for not only just widget for widget, but as well as uh, technical information, training information, uh, making sure that we have parts availability. That's, that's extremely important because for every minute, every hour that that truck is not operating, revenue is not being generated. Oh yeah, you know, and I was just at a, a facility in Kansas, and, um, and and as you can see right here, there's a truck that's on a, a wrecker, and I'll tell you what, I saw this all day long. I don't know where all these trucks are coming from, but the wreckers are bringing them in off the road, and this facility is open 24-7 to keep these trucks rolling. Wow, I had no idea, but how important that is, huh? It's extremely important, actually, in our organization, MHC. Uh, really prides ourselves with our availability. We've been 724. We were actually the first dealership network to do that. Um, now some others have copied us, but uh, our availability to our customers is, is top of the line. Well, I'll say so. Uh, from what I saw, it, it was absolutely top of the line. And, and I saw guys in their shops doing everything from changing out batteries to oil changes to replacing engines. Uh, this type of thing happens all the time, 24-7, ongoing. So a facility like yours has to have, number one, lots of room, lots of Correct. space. You have to have lots of parts on hand. How exactly. do you manage that? In inventory management is extremely important. Again, when we talk to our customers, uh, the most important, actually the number one thing that they talk about is parts availability. It's not necessarily the price, you know, they're willing to pay the money. They understand that there's an investment in having that product right now because they don't want to wait for it to show up. So uh, having that availability and again, our availability of our service units where we're open 724, that their trucks can be worked on continuously, that means that they're going to get their trucks back quicker. So again, speed of turnaround, but again, on top of that is finding the right application and offering the connectivity with our quality vendor partners to offer training to those, uh, the techs that are both in our shop as well as with our customer. They do a lot of service work on their own, especially our larger fleets. And we need to be able to transfer the knowledge and the understanding that we have from our valued vendor partners to them and their group so that they can then be successful. Wow, yeah. And I'll tell you what, you know, we've seen uh, what it takes to keep a car going, the training, the equipment, the investment, the infrastructure. Wow, these guys do it like on steroids. So the next time you see one of those big diesel rigs going down the road, think about the, the parts, the time, the training, the infrastructure. Everything is heavy, and my gosh, downtime is awfully expensive too. That's right. 